Hello everyone. Welcome back to another English online session. Today I am going to explain you a number of common mistakes particularly 50 common mistakes uh, we commit while using this language. It uh, includes all the areas like uh, subject verb agreement, active passive, tense, uh, determiners, uh, class and uh, the use of words. It, uh, this video includes uh, from uh, examples from all the areas, the mistakes we commonly commit when we use this language. Let's see the first one. I have visited Niagara Falls last weekend. It's actually the usage is wrong. Look at the right sentence. I visited Niagara Falls last weekend. The first one is present perfect tense and the second one is past simple past tense. So when you mention the time and a past event and particularly you are highlighting the time when it happened, you should use simple past tense instead of uh, uh, present perfect tense. Present perfect tense also used to indicate an action happened in the past, especially immediate action. Immediate action happened just now. Something happened just now. Uh, to indicate that action, we use uh, present perfect, but we won't uh, mention the time. Mostly, we won't mention the time. If you want to mention the time something happened in the past, you should use simple past tense. So, this is the first one. And second one, the woman which works here is from Japan. It is actually a wrong sentence. I think you have guessed the wrong word. Yes, which. Look at that, the right sentence. The woman who works here is from Japan. So it is about a relative pronoun. We use a relative pronoun who or whom for people, which can be used to indicate uh, uh, things. Okay, so uh, this pronoun, while using relative pronoun, you should be very careful. To indicate people, we use the relative pronoun who or whom. Who as subject form, whom as object form. And the next one, she is married with a dentist. The, uh, this is a common mistake, even people nowadays also people using it. Actually, we should use the preposition to not the preposition with this uh, mistake commonly you can find uh, while uh, people use this language and another one is i must to call him immediately we all know that must is a modal auxiliary after that we cannot use the infinitive form infinitive form means uh, two plus base form of the verb we should use uh, the base form of the verb immediately after the modal axillary must look at the correct sentence i must call him immediately there is no need of to there look at the next sentence every students like the teacher here you can find uh, the noun word in plural form so we should know after the word uh, every we should use singular form of noun okay and also the because uh, the noun was used in plural form the verb also in plural form the word like look at the correct sentence every student likes the teacher so the first thing you have to understand that after the word every you should use the singular form of noun and based on that the verb okay you have to put the uh, singular form of the verb Every student likes the teacher is the correct sentence. Like uh, every, uh, each, nothing, anything, something, anybody, uh, everybody. After all these uh, words, we use singular form of axillary verb or main verb. Even though some words look plural, but all these words take singular form of axillary verb or main verb. Look at the next sentence. Although it was raining, but we had the picnic. 
so although and but we cannot use both conjunctions here here although and but are conjunctions there is no need of uh, two conjunctions in this sentence look at the correct sentence although it was raining we had the picnic so it gives the complete meaning there is no need of but in that sentence because we have used alto in the beginning itself and the next one i enjoyed from the movie so it's a wrong there is no need of that uh, uh, additional preposition there i enjoyed the movie that's all enough subject verb and the object there is no need of preposition there it's wrong and the next one i look forward to meet you actually this is a common mistake many people commit it actually the correct usage is i look forward to meeting you here the meeting the word meeting is gerunt okay the next uh, uh, sentence is she can to drive we have uh, already seen a similar sentence like this she can drive subject plus the modal auxiliary can plus immediately we should use the base form of the verb there is no need of to there uh, to plus base base form of the verb is infinitive a modal auxiliary plus the base form of the verb is a uh, bare infinitive actually we have already used uh, the modal auxiliary and uh, uh, the next one is the base form of the verb there is no need of to in that sentence and the uh, the next one is where i can find a bank we already learned that when we frame a question we should put the auxiliary verb before the subject first question verb auxiliary verb subject and it goes like that look at the right sentence where can i find a bank this is the correct structure of a question so one thing you should remember when you frame a question you should uh, put the auxiliary verb before the subject the next sentence i live in united states so we all learned that in the um, articles the definite article the so it should be used before the country's name like uh, starts with uh, the word united or republic here look at that in the sentence i live in united states the country's name starts with united so we should put the definite article the the united states the united kingdom the united arab emirates likewise so the correct sentence is uh, i live in the united states look at the next sentence i have been here since 3 months it is a uh, present perfect tense and uh, here the preposition the use of preposition is wrong in this sentence uh, in the end the time duration uh, shown as a set of uh, months three months a number of months given here so we should use for before that look at the correct sentence i have been here for three months so a set of hours minutes uh weeks years or months uh, if you are giving as time you should use for the preposition for before since is used to show the beginning okay until or until is used to uh, show the end so a set of year or at any sort of time duration should be indicated uh, or uh, the preposition for should be used before that the uh, next example is my friend has got a new work actually it is a wrong usage my friend has got a new job job is a specific occupation you have to mention if it is a specific occupation you have to use the word job work means any general task you can address as work so this is the difference specific uh, specific uh, occupation means you have to use the word job any uh, task general task can be addressed as work and uh, the next sentence is she doesn't listen me it's a common error easily everyone commits actually the correct sentence is she doesn't listen to me so the preposition to is needed before the object and uh, the next one is you speak english good this 
sentence also commonly used uh, uh, actually it is uh, not correct usage the correct usage is you speak english well this is the correct way to say that and the next one is the police is coming the word police is plural actually uh, if you are uh, mentioning police man uh, that can be singular police men plural the word police is plural so you have to use plural form of auxiliary verb the police are coming another common error is uh, the house isn't enough big actually it is very rare uh, most of them used correctly like uh, the house isn't big enough this is the correct usage the next sentence do you like a glass of water so when you offer something in a polite manner uh, instead of do you should use would would you like a glass of water would you like a cup of tea so would uh, convey more politeness we should use would when we offer something to someone the next mistake is uh, common as well as a little bit confusing one uh, the dummy subject the use of dummy subject there look at the first sentence there is seven girls in the class actually it depends upon the subject comes after that there is a dummy subject the real subject is uh, uh, seven girls in this uh, sentence so the real subject comes after that so based on that you have to put the auxiliary verb the correct sentence is there are seven girls in the class if it is uh, the noun is singular you can use singular form of auxiliary verb there is a pen on the table okay it depends upon the uh, subject the real subject not the dummy subject uh, the dummy subject indicates nothing about singular plural difference but the real subject comes after the uh, dummy subject so you should care about the real subject to put the auxiliary verb the next one i didn't meet nobody this also easily uh, committing mistake because uh, we cannot use two negative words in the same sentence if you check the sentence didn't and nobody both are negative sentences we can change it by using anybody look at that i didn't meet anybody otherwise you can say that i meet nobody so these are the two ways you can correct this sentence and the next one is uh, my flight departs in 5 am so it's wrong the preposition used there is wrong actually the correct preposition is at my flight departs at 5 am look at here uh, when you use a specific point of time a specific place you should use the preposition at to indicate something specific in can be used before uh, months year or in front of a uh, name of a place okay so name of country name of cities we can use in the next sentence look at that i promise i call you next week actually it is uh, someone is giving a promise to the other person a definite action in the future a promise uh, when you make a promise and uh, promise means you will do it definitely surely or certainly you will do it so you should use the auxiliary verb model auxiliary verb will to frame that sentence so the correct sentence is i promise i will call you next week and finally she was boring in the class actually the correct formation is she was bored in the class it is in the passive construction so you should use the v3 form of the verb not the ing form of the verb look at the next sentence uh, where is post office so we all know that the definite article the is used to give uh, a specific details about something uh, the specific details when we uh, give specific details in a sentence we use uh, uh, the before noun or pronoun here look at that where is the post office the should be used because uh, we are particularly mentioning the place post office look at the next sentence please explain me how improve my english 
so something should be done giving suggestions or getting suggestions we should use the infinite two, two plus base form of the word please explain to me how to improve my english to improve there's a i already told you it is infinitive to indicate something should be done in that kind of a situation we can use uh, the to infinitive to plus base form of the verb the next one we study during four hours during the word used to indicate uh, while you are speaking about something while the action is progressing okay during uh, it's a continuous action and the action is progressing or uh, another situation is you are talking about something happened while another action was progressing so here it is a wrong usage we study during four hours i already told you to indicate a set of time like uh, two weeks three years four months here four hours we should use the preposition for we studied for four hours is the correct usage look at the next example is ready my passport while reading itself you understood what is the mistake is my passport ready usually we make questions uh, by putting auxiliary verb in front of the subject like it, it is known as yes or no questions it is easy to uh, make yes or no questions just to put the auxiliary verb before the subject so the correct usage is is my passport ready auxiliary verb and uh, subject next to auxiliary verb subject is the correct order of framing yes or no questions so i'm going to stop explaining this today the balance uh, and sentences i will explain in the next class hope you understood today's uh, class if you need it go through it again for better understanding see you in the next class bye take care